Well, it is a game which, in the grand scheme of things, may not have too much riding on it, but it is equally clear and very visible that there is much pride around it. Chants are filling our ears, proud renditions of hymns and songs. It is the perfect soundtrack. And few venues rise to an occasion quite like this one. It is, of course, a world-famous Old Trafford. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. Hakimi calmly anticipates. Now he's off and running. Hakimi passes just off target. It's the sort of situation that they'll want to capitalise on now. And it's Di Maria. Manchester United ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Hoyland! It's anyone's ball now. Odegaard crossed it again. Terrific header! Neymar! Oh, no, poor contact. Nothing on the shot. Indonesia with their first corner. The first in the game for either side, actually. Oh, shooting chance! Just lacked a decent finish. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks a harder thing to do. Tunisia applying all the early pressure. Yeah, whether they've been allowed to set the standards or not, they're setting them, and the goal has to follow. Hoyland! That had everyone off their feet. That's just plain unlucky. There were many, me included, who thought that was going in. And they'll start all over again with the goalkeeper. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Robert Lewandowski. He's just about the perfect all-round striker. Not least because he can finish equally well with both feet, Peter. It's not all about his finishing, though. He's always on the shoulder, looking for that ball in behind, and that prevents the opposition defence from getting too high or, indeed, getting too comfortable. I think the opposition defence agreed, too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Marquinhos. He's got to go! Terrific save from the keeper. Lewandowski is offering a right.